next on the Backcountry Vagabond. Every time I come through here, I lose that trail. Oh, I hate this shit. Ah! Uh-oh, that did not sound good. This is your Backcountry Vagabond, Greg Sidnam, inviting you to join me for a backcountry adventure. Hey ho, morning four. Damn, it's been quick. Uh, I have just finished striking camp and I'm getting ready to, to do my stream crossing, which I always hate because I've had some bad experiences on this one. And while the river's not really high, it's still fairly high. I'll show you exactly what we're looking at in a second. This is where we are. This stream right here. It may not look like much. And truth be told, it's probably not very much. But it's probably four feet deep right there. It's that first couple of steps, dude. It's that first couple of steps. All right, here we go. Two big steps. And then we're there. Oh, that is cold. Oh, I hate this shit. Ah, okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, years past, I got wet. Another eight, ten inches higher. That's when I had trouble. Getting shallower. Ah, yeah, it's good now. We're through it. Ah. We're out. We're out. How's that for a little bit of excitement at the top of day? All right, well, we're across the creek. We're on the good side of the river now. Soon, I'll be up on the rocks. And I'm only like four and a half miles from Huckleberry Lake, so that's good. It'll be two and a half, three miles of hard hiking, but that's all right. At least I have an idea of where I'm going this time. We are coming up this little water hole here. It's all right where it's supposed to be, which means I'm right where I'm supposed to be. It's nice to know that I can find it again. Got a little, little antsy down there on that hill. We're trying to go up over and around this great big mound of granite. In order to do so, you sort of have to skirt the edge of this one and, and slide up here now there's a trail but every time i come through here i lose that trail i don't know what it is about that trail well i do it's on granite and every year the markers wash away but you would think that the mule skinner trail the one that they've been using for decades would be pretty easy to spot apparently not not for me at least well that's a mid-trail report Cedar here are gonna spend a few moments appreciating nature <laughs> and then we're heading back up the trail until later I'm the backcountry vagabond hey boy get your ass off the couch let's go hello I made it I'm at Huckleberry Lake in the immigrant wilderness evening of day four this is going to actually be the first cast I'm throwing at Huckleberry, assuming that I can get my reel to work, because I already had a problem with my reel. It's not releasing. Oh, this is not good. Well, it let go there. Let's see if we can. No, 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 no. How about that way? No. Oh, 
Hey, that one caught out there. It's a big, big white target. I'm surprised nothing's grabbed it after two times. <laughs> Uh-oh, that did not sound good. Oh, nor did that. Looks like we may be done fishing. I got some more issues going on. I can hear them in there. Uh-oh. Well, it appears that I'm going to have to perform some sort of emergency surgery on this thing to get it to work. It is not letting go. I'll talk to you guys later, but right now I got to deal with this shit because this is getting ugly. And I don't know why. Later, dude. That really sucks.